Hello everyone and welcome back to another bullet journal setup video. I know this is the second one in a row. I actually had another video planned to go up in between these but I never got around to editing it so you have this one instead. Um, I still plan on posting it probably after this one. So for this month's theme as you can see I kind of went with this text message slash text bubble theme. Um, I think this is my favorite theme that I've ever done out of all three. I think, yeah, three of my bullet journals. This one is definitely my favorite. It turned out so cute. I was actually inspired by this one spread that I saw and I kind of did my own twist on it. So I went with pink and purple. And as you can see, I just drew the text bubbles for my cover page and colored them with my Tombow brush pens. And I added some sparkles and some drop shadows. And I actually ended up uh, moving on to the next spread so that I could let the marker dry before writing on top of it with more marker um, because then it would bleed everywhere. So I just moved on to the calendar spread. And for this month's calendar, I actually went with a different setup. Um, instead of my normal box layout, I went with a different box style. <laughs> Usually I would cut out the parts in the video where I flip back to my past calendars, um, where I use it as reference to set up my new calendars because I never remember my layout. Um, but this time I decided to just keep it in because there wasn't really anything personal on my calendar for January. Most of it was just due dates because there were so many and I had to keep track of them because otherwise I would have forgotten. Oh, and one more thing that I did to switch things up a bit, instead of using my black pen to draw the lines for my calendar, I actually used the fine tip end of my brush pen to outline the calendar and I think it turned out really cute. It's much more playful, I guess, than my regular like black sketchy um, vibe that I go for. Um, I think it really turned out cute and I think I might stick with this kind of layout and setup for the coming months. And then I went back to write February in the big text bubble. And then in the little bubble, I wrote, please be nice so that it reads February, please be nice. <laughs> because January was not nice to me at all. It was very stressful. So hopefully February will be much better. I actually have a lot of a lot of things to look forward to this month. So hopefully that will be enough to get me through the month. Um, and then at the bottom, instead of just having a box for goals, I decided to split it up between goals and to do. Because most of the time I just end up writing things that I have to do that month in the goals which like I guess kind of makes sense, like it's my goal to do that. But this time I decided to split things up so that I would have more room to set goals for myself. So yeah. And then the other one is just my growth tracker for both my YouTube channel and my Instagram. And then I just went back and wrote the titles for each day and the month. And then to fill in the empty spaces, I went with my pink and purple to draw more of those text bubbles and then later I went in and wrote these cute little messages in them. Um, as you can see, I actually ended up just freehanding these unlike the cover page where I actually sketched it out. I was kind of lazy so I just kind of went for it <laughs> and these text bubbles ranged in different shapes and sizes so that I could make the most out of the space that I had. Um, usually I don't really color with my brush pens, I usually just use it to like letter and write words, but this time I got over that dislike and, um, and drew with them. And then for some of the spaces where it was too small to draw another text bubble, I drew a little smiley face and a heart uh, to fit that little text message vibe that I'm going for in this theme. And then, oh yeah, I also added some more of those little sparkles, doodles. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with those, with that doodle. That's like my go-to for filling in empty spaces. 
Oh, and then here's me uh, writing the little messages. So it says, hello, you're cute, you're the best, I love you. And then I couldn't really think of what else to write. So I wrote, you're the love of my life and I miss you because why not? I don't know, I just thought they were cute and they fit the vibe. How many times am I gonna say vibe in this? Oops. Um, oh yeah, and then I went with my black brush pen to write in the phrases. I thought about using my black gel pen, but I ended up going for the brush pen. And then I went ahead and erased my pencil marks. Sometimes I forget to erase them in these videos, but this time I remembered. <laughs> and then moving on to my trackers and playlist page which if you guys haven't seen my last video, then you wouldn't know that I kind of changed up part of my monthly layout so that I would have a page for trackers and a page to write some of the songs that I've been listening to that month. So for the playlist page for January, throughout the month, I would just write down some of the songs that I really liked. And yeah, that's how that page works. And then for the trackers, my playlist, and the brain nut page, um, you'll see that I continued the text message theme and used that for the little titles and the headings. Okay, and so as I set up these pages, I want to use this time to talk about something that has been on my mind a lot recently, and that is creative burnout. Um, so January really killed me with school there was so much stuff and i was so busy working on schoolwork it used up so much of my time and so i didn't have that much time to work on new videos or journal or work on new designs for my shop which made me really sad because i need that creative freedom to keep me sane every now and then so not having much time in january really I don't know what's the word for it. It really made me sad. I'm really bad with words, but with school just completely draining me of all of my energy, whenever I do have some free time, I don't end up using it to draw or edit or journal, which I don't know. It's just, I don't have like that motivation or the energy to do so. So I would just end up like taking a nap or laying around or like, watching some videos or like a k-drama or something but yeah hopefully february will be nice to me and give me some free time so that i can work on my other side projects i still plan on having a shop update in february i'm working on a new um sticker series design i'm like halfway through it and hopefully i can finish that up soon so yeah there's that rant, it's a little insight into what goes on in my mind. It's a mess. If you noticed, I actually messed up on one of my trackers and wrote two extra days for February. I don't know why that happened. I just kind of got carried away with the numbers. So I just covered it up with some scrap paper that I had. And now we have reached the last part of my monthly journal setup, the iconic weekly spreads that I always do where I split up each page in half, both vertically and horizontally, so that I have these eight large boxes total. The first one always ends up being like a little preview of the month and um, a little spot to write things that I'm grateful for that week, things that uh, made me happy that week, just little, little happy things that I could remember when I look back into my journal. And then for the titles, or the days of the week, I wrote them in these text bubbles, which I'm so obsessed with. I'm so obsessed with this theme. It turned out so cute. Also, the colors just make me so happy. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically this month's setup. I'll let the video continue in peace um, for the last few seconds before we get to the final flip through. And yeah, here is the final flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed listening to me talk about my life, um, enjoyed seeing me set up my journal. 
let's hope that February will be nice to both you and I <laughs> and that only good things happen. And I'll see you guys in my next video.